Well, here we are again, and I hope you've been having as much fun as I've been having. I've been having a great time. Now, guess what we're going to learn? I'm going to show you Woody Woodpecker. Now, how many of you out there have ever seen anybody do Woody Woodpecker? Go ahead, raise your hands. I think I'm the only one that raised my hand. This is a cool one. It's going to take a little while. So I uh, hope you got yourself a cold drink, maybe a snack, and we're going to go, go on from here. I want to point out just a couple of things to you first before we start, and I'll go over them again as we make the balloon. But on Woody's head, it, I'm going to call this the top knot. Uh, I start with a uh, three-quarter inch uh, ear twist followed by a three-inch bubble fold twist, five inch, and then maybe a seven inch fold twist, all on top of his head, okay? The head's actually three sections of the red balloon here, and that helps support that top knot. And then Woody has a white collar that goes around his neck, and I used to have trouble holding that in place, and so what I've done is I've placed an ear twist right here at the back, and then I rotate that in so it holds pressure on, on the balloon's neck here, and that holds that in place real nice. I wanted to point those things out before we started just so you'll have an idea as we get going, okay? Now I'm going to set Woody aside and he's going to watch as we build his buddy, okay? Stay there, Woody. All right, boy, I got a pile of balloons here. Let's take a red 260 inflate it all but about four inches. Be sure to burp it so it's soft, okay? Now I've squeezed the air up towards the knot end. Now let's twist a Oh, three-quarter inch bubble, and then ear twist that. So we go end to end. Okay. Now I want to take about a three-inch bubble. Three, three and a half is fine. And now let's fold that down along itself, and fold a second one. Okay. This is going to be the top of Woody's head. So there's the first twist on his top now. now. Let's make about a three-inch fold twist. Okay, follow that by about a five inch fold twist. Okay, we got small, bigger, and bigger. Now let's go with the biggest. Go about a six or seven inch fold twist. Okay, <clears throat> now the remainder of this balloon is going to be the back of his head. Now I'm going to squeeze it and get the air down towards the tip end of that. We need a, Woody needs to have a longer neck so we can put the white collar on. Let's fold the third three-inch bubble and roll that through. Okay, now I'm going to turn that one to the back. So we have the first two we folded in the front. The eyes are going to go against this, okay? Now you can see there's the whole head. The two three-inch bubbles in the front with the one three-inch bubble in the back. Three-quarter inch bubble, three-inch fold twist. 5-inch fold twist, 7-inch fold twist, okay? I'm going to set that down for a minute. And we're going to grab a goldenrod 260. It's inflated all but about 4 inches. That's probably more than more inflated than we need, but we can adjust. i have squeeze the air towards the knot end. Let's make about a 3-inch fold twist, 2.5, 3-inch fold twist. And we'll hide the knot up inside. Okay, now let's make another one of those. Two and a half, three inch fold twists there, okay? Two and a half inches, three inches should be fine. These are going to be Woody's cheeks. Now to make his beak, I like to try to get it a little bit thinner. So I'm going to actually pinch the balloon down and pull like you're trying to make it a little longer. That's going to thin it out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to make a loop that's about, oh, 14 inches. A little longer than a foot. I don't think the foot might be too short. Now the rest of this we can uh, let the air out of that and we'll tie it off. So I'll take my envelope opener, release the air from that, wrap it around oh, each one of the cheeks a couple times, and remember I like to tie a knot. So we'll tie a knot and trim off the, the excess portion of that balloon. Now let's take the cheeks I'll put them on the, the top of the neck here. We'll just pull that through, and I'll show you the back. And then I like to just rotate them one time. So we change sides of them. Not a lock, but 
You know, you can even go two half turns if you want it. Lock it in there good and tight. Okay? Now if you take the beak and rub it a little bit more, pinch down on it, pull it out. That heats that balloon up. You can get it to a little bit of a point. I know it's impossible to get a balloon to make a point, but it, but it draws it out a little bit, thins it out a little bit, and gives it more of appearance of a point, okay? Okay, you're doing great. Okay, now I have a, a white balloon. You know, I've inflated uh, oh, four or five white balloons. You could probably do all the white on Woody with three balloons if you use pieces. But for the purposes of the video, I'm using individual balloons so it'll be easier to show you. So we'll take a white 260, inflate it about oh, five, six inches. We're going to make the eyes out of this, so be sure you burp it good so it's nice and soft. We'll tie that off, and then we'll trim it. But we're going to leave about an inch or so so we have something to tie with. Now let's divide that in half. You know, I got it perfect the first time. Hoo -hoo. Okay, now we're going to take the white one and we're going to go around the first three-quarter inch bubble we did on the top knot. It, it's a little bit hard because it's all tight in there, but you you work it a little bit and you'll get it in there. I, I like to go in on the top of that three-quarter inch bubble and then I like to bring it down to the bottom of that three-quarter inch bubble and twist it just one half turn. I think when you get the uh, the white balloon up there, you'll see what I'm talking about. And of course the red loops go everywhere, and you'll have to reposition those when, when you're finished, but I want to show you. So I've got the white balloon around the three-quarter inch top knot there, see? And so it's a little bit tight to get it in there, but you can do it, so be patient, okay? Now we're going to take the ends of the white and tie those together, just like we've done on the other creations. Tie it nice and tight. And now we're going to take one end of each of this white one and go around each of the cheeks a couple times. Pulling those eyes down nice and tight, okay? Come around a couple of times. And then I hide that white balloon here in the where the two red ones join. Hides that, you can't see it. We bring the other side, go around the other cheek several times. Okay, I went around three, but I was counting, two would be enough. Hide the knot in the back of the head, see, so it's nice and clean back there. We get our top knot adjusted. You know, that looks pretty darn good. I'll hold that up so you can take a good look. Because we have just the head. I like to do just the head on this one first, because you do have three different balloons, and it's kind of tight to get the eyes in there, so I'll let you have a good look at that. And remember, you can always email me. Our website address is on the main menu screen of this, and you can get to our email address um, through our website. Send me a note. Tell me what you think. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my pen, and we're going to draw some eyes on Woody, and then I'll give you a look at those. I'm drawing these pretty much like I've done uh, all on some of the other balloons. I know I gave you this uh, idea to do eyes like this on Sylvester, but I actually uh, I did it on the balloon after Sylvester. I said, hey, try these eyes. So these eyes work good on there too. Remember, I don't draw as well as some of you out there, so I'm sure you can come up with some other eyes that maybe you like better. And here's a tip for you, Woody has green eyes. And so if you go around the pupil there with a little green, that would add a little more authenticity, okay? I do it, but I don't have a green uh, pen. Mm, darn it! I'm sure you can find one. Okay, let's set him down. And we're going to grab a 260 uh, blue. And you know, I, I haven't said this before. Most times when I use the colors, I'll tell you, this is, I use standard colors uh, whenever I can because they're uh, less translucent, I guess, than the jewel tones. And I think they look better on the sculptures. Now the goldenrod is considered a jewel tone, but it's it's pretty opaque. So uh, I just thought I'd put that out. The reds, the yellows, the blues, the oranges I use, they're all the standard colors. I just think they're, they look a little nicer. But you be the judge. Okay, let's take a blue 260 inflated, oh, about all but three and a half inches. 
burp so it's a little soft. Now we're just going to tie the two ends of that together. You know, I'm going to set Woody's head over here. Uh, he hasn't really lost his head because it hasn't been attached to his body yet, okay? Okay, we've got that tied together. Now I'm going to trim that. We're going to find the middle and then we'll twist that so we have two, two sections. That's pretty darn close. Okay, now let's take a white one. Well, I got a lot of white ones here. We got a white 260 inflated all but about six inches. That's more than we need, but we'll adjust it. This is going to be Woody's belly, okay? So we're going to wrap the top of that around either end. Doesn't matter which one you want to start with. Go around there several times. We don't want it to come undone. And I'll hold it on top of the body, or on top of the two blue ones rather, and then I'll twist it the same length. And I'm just going to roll that through. And I'm going to do that a couple of times with each side of the glue. So it's locked in there nice and tight. Okay. Now we're going to release the rest of the air out of the remainder of that white 260. And then I just go around one of the sections of the blue and just tie a half knot. That seals the balloon up and secures it so it can't come undone. Okay. The two blues in the back with the white belly in the front. Okay, let's get Woody's head over here again. And we have a oh, bubble here about four inches long. It's really soft. Now, if you end up with one that's longer than that, I'd shorten it up to about this length. But with practice, you'll end up with about that much left once you've made the head, okay? So twist about a oh, half inch, three quarter inch bubble on the end of that. We're going to use that to secure the head to the top of the body. We're just going to go around those sections a couple of times. Actually, what I did was run around each section once to hold that in there. And it's kind of loose on there right now, as you can see, but we're going to tighten that up by putting that collar around his neck. So I've inflated a white balloon about a foot. We don't need that much. Again, you can use pieces. You know, if you had half of a balloon, we're going to make some hands here in a bit. That'll take about half of a balloon, and you can probably make both hands out of one, but I'm going to use two for the purposes of the video. But now, to show you the collar, let's make a three-quarter inch bubble, and ear twist that. So we're going to go end to end, okay? And now I'm just going to hold that up to his neck and come around, and, and come around so it's nice and tight on the neck. You don't want to leave a lot of space there, and we're just going to twist it, okay? You got that? And I leave the ear twist in the back, okay? So we're going to release the rest of the air out of this white balloon. Okay, we'll let that go, and then we're going to tie a knot. You probably could just trim it, but remember, I like to tie a knot just to be sure. A lot of times, you know, I'll make up these big balloons the night before an event or a party. And so, you know, I don't want to take any chances that the air might might escape. You know, so if you take the time to do them right, you don't have to take the time to do them over. That's a good tip. Now I'll show you that again, just like we did at the beginning. So you can see where that ear twist is on the back. And then I've rolled it into the inside. Uh, so it's it's tight against the red, okay? And that, that holds the neck on there. Well, not the neck the collar on the neck rather nice and tight so it'll, it'll stay right where you put it okay when you look at pictures of Woody that's exactly how he's got it's got a white uh, a white feathers I guess around his neck okay boy we're really coming along good with this one now let's see I'm going to take a blue 260 it's inflated all but about four inches that's more than we need these, this is going to be for Woody's arms. Now, I like to make Woody's arms a little shorter than his body, maybe three quarters of the length of his body, because his hands are going to be bigger. Okay? And so we're going to mark about the center on that. And I'm going to come down here and fold it down. You see how I did that? I marked the center, fold it down so I have two approximately the same length. And now we're going to release the air out of this section and then um, tie it off 
You know, first I'm going to burp that just a little bit so we soften that up. We'll tie that blue one off. And we're going to leave about an inch of the blue there because we need that to attach his hands. And the knot end here will be plenty. Okay, now I'm going to fold that half again and just show you that that's about, oh, it might be a little more than three quarters of the length of his body. So however long you get the body, make the arms about three quarters of the length of that, okay? Now let's fold that in half. That's pretty darn good. Now come in under the white collar here with the arms so you can twist this right around the base of his neck. You can actually slide, I'm going to slide the white collar up so I can show you. We're going to put the arms right here around the, the base of his neck and I'll go twist them together once. Okay, now let me get this down here and then I'll show you and then we'll slide the neck back. You just position this blue one between the two blues and the white for the arms, okay? And now I'll pull the white one back down. When you make it, you won't have to slide the white one up. I just wanted to, to do that so you could see where we were positioning those. I'll probably leave Woody's arms straight, but you could, you know, give him a little bend to tweak him up if you want. Woody's, Woody is very much an action character, and he does things rather fast and in a big way, you know. So when you present him, present him in a big way too, okay? Okay, now let's take a white one. We're going to make one of Woody's hands. And again, I think you could do two out of one balloon, but for the purposes of the video, I'm using two separate ones. I think it'll be easier to show you. So I've got this one inflated. You only need about a foot, but we got about half of it inflated, or half of it uninflated, rather. I've burped the balloon. I'll squeeze the air towards the knot end, okay? I'm going to make about a two-inch fold twist. We're just going to fold it down and twist it, and I hide the knot inside, you know, like we do when we make a beak. We're going to make two of these, okay? Two, two-inch, or two-and-a-half-inch fold twists, okay? Just like that. Now I'm going to make about a three-inch bubble here, a little less than a handful, and I'll fold that down and twist another one, okay? Now we'll twist these together. I'll go around there five or six times. I did it twisted in there good and tight. Now we'll release the air out of this section. Okay, now we'll go around each one of those a couple of times. And you guessed it, we're going to tie it in a knot. We'll trim off the excess. You know, I'm going to make two of those and then I'll show you how we put them on. So I'll set that one aside for a minute. Got another balloon that's inflated all but about, well, have, this one's inflated a little more. But, you know, we don't need that much. Squeeze the air towards the knot end. Let's do that two to two and a half inch fold twist. Hide the knot. Hey, did I tell you? You're doing great. Okay, let's make a second one. Two, two and a half inch fold twist. A three inch bubble. Okay. Fold it down. Twist another three inch bubble and twist those together. You know, let's go around about five or six turns, okay? Get it nice and tight. We'll release the air. See, you see, we could have made another hand out of this easily. Or you could take a section of this white one and make the white collar. So you could probably take one white balloon and make both hands in the white collar, okay? But when you read the instructions for the balloons needed for this, I'm going to tell you three or four white ones. You probably could get away with just three instead of four. Some of you guys are really uh, um, clever with how you use pieces of balloon. Maybe you can get them done in two. Okay, so we wrap that around both sides there, and I've tied it in a knot. I'm trimming off the excess like we did on the first one. Okay, Woody, come on back. Now I'm going to take the knot, we're starting with the knot in here, and I'm going to wrap it around the sides of this. This is going to be a glove here, okay? We'll go around there a couple of times, and then I'll hide the knot 
inside one of the white fold twists, okay? Now I've got a book on balloons from Italy, and they must not say okay over there because a lot of times they'll show me a picture and it says so, so. <laughs> I just threw that in for you. I hope you found that funny because I did amuse myself with it. Okay, so we have a white glove on the end of the blue arm, all right? Okay, I'll get back to business. Here's the second white glove, and we'll take the other end we've trimmed off to have a little bit left. We'll go around each one of those fold twists and tie that up inside. The loose end. Okay, let's give what we're gonna give his arms just a little bit. The first one I showed you, I didn't. There, Woody wants a big hug. Okay. Hey, you're missing some legs here, Woody. And you know what else he's missing? I didn't even show you on the first one. Does anybody out there know? He didn't have a tail. I got busy. That's okay. We're gonna show you. Actually, he might be okay without the tail, but, you know, I think it'll look better, so we'll build that for you. Let's uh, take an orange 260, inflate it all but about three-quarters of an inch. You could probably even have it inflated a little more. Make his feet. So we're going to take about a three-quarter to one-inch bubble, followed by a handful, three-and-a-half inches. Hold it down, get a sack of one, and, you know, roll the one-inch bubble through, okay? Three quarters to a one inch bubble, three and a half inch handful, fold it down, get another one, then roll the small one through. Okay, let's fold that, find the center. There we go. You know, I thought he was just looking a little naked at first. It was probably easier to show you though without the tail. That's my story, I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Who can tell me what color Woody's tail is? Anybody? It's green. Okay. Same as his eyes. Now, Woody, I'm going to have to set you down, buddy. So just relax. Now, remember, I just took my balloons out of the refrigerator because <laughs> that's the best place to keep them. So I'm going to have to warm this one up. Okay. Now well, we'll see if that's warmed up enough. I'm going to inflate that. It's 260. I'm going to inflate that pretty much all the way. Okay, let's first that. It's a little cold, but that's okay for a demonstration. You know, when balloons are cold, they don't inflate the best. But that's all right. Now let's tie a knot. I did burp it, so it's a little bit soft. It's fully inflated. Okay, but now let's make one about, oh, Let's go three and a half, four inches longer, okay? And now let's just twist that. It's actually kind of hard to get Woody's tail. It, that's probably why I left it out to start with. I'm going to go through his body here, okay? Kind of like you do the legs. And we're going to bring him up, the tail up in the center between the two blue ones. Make sure the longest one's on top. <laughs> it's not like I just had. The short one. And I'm going to bring that up about three quarters of the way up his body. And I'm going to really pull that good so you get it to come out at a pretty good angle, okay? I got his legs all twisted around. And then we'll get the second one in there. I'm going to, I'm going to, have to set him down for a minute. And I'm going to be good. I'm going to give it a twist, too. You know, sometimes it might be beneficial to maybe put an ear twist down there at the bottom to hold, his, to hold the tail. I'll let you decide when you, when you build them. Because, you know, these big balloons don't really get carried around much. I find when I give them to the kids or at a birthday party or corporate event, you know, they'll set them up somewhere. They might even tape them up in the, in the hotel lobby. Uh, so everybody can see him. Okay, you got that? Woody's got his green tail. Two sections coming out the back. 
And be sure you twist them so they, you know, they come up and out, not just straight up, okay? Through the back. Got that? Okay. You experiment with that, but mostly I want you to have fun. And I sure hope you've had fun learning the balloon creations on Boomer's Wow Balloons too, because I have had an absolute blast bringing them to you. Thanks again, and I hope to see you down the road real soon.